you know that there are certain seasonings that contain more salt than you actually need? There are more natural, healthier ways to reduce the salt intake in your dishes by using natural things like onions, garlic, seasoned peppers, and even thyme and merengue powder. Cooking is the art, science, and craft of using heat to prepare food for consumption. Boy, I really need to learn to cook. <laughs> Cooking techniques and ingredients vary widely from grilling food over an open fire to using electric stoves, baking in various types of ovens as well. We have not even mentioned the chemical reaction that happens with certain ingredients. Mm -hmm. Cooking is one of the fastest ways to flex your creative muscle. Today, we are going to be hearing all about this from Chef Michael Henville. Michael is the executive chef and food nutrition specialist with the Nevis Island Administration School Meals Program. Today, we warmly welcome him to Good Morning SKN's Expressions, and he will be creating something special. Get this, guys live. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Good Morning SKN, Chef Thank Michael. you very much. Thank you for having me. I'm, just, I'm very excited to be here. I can see that. We're, yeah. glad, that you're, <laughs> yeah. we're glad that you're here. You're preparing uh, something great for us and we know we're going to give you the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're yes. going to try not to distract you as we talk, but I'm sure... That no, that's can... fine. That's fine. Talk talk all you want. Trust me. I like to talk. I can, I can be here with you guys all day if you want me to. Just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so and the first instance, what will you be creating today? So I'm going to be showing you guys three different very easy and healthy salad dressings. Okay. People don't really think about salad dressings too much um, or they tend to steer towards the salad dressings that are like mayonnaise based, yeah. you know? So what I'm going to be doing today is three different ones that are vinegar and oil based. A little bit on the healthier side, um, less fat compared to like the, the mayonnaise based um, uh, salad dressings. Okay. okay, so that's what we'll be doing. It's always better to be healthy. That's right. <laughs> All right, so I understand as well, you are you supervise the daily operations of the school meals program in Nevis. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I'm jealous right now because <laughs> I don't have school <laughs> meals. I never you? had, as far as I knew anyway, an actual chef making the meals. So let's talk about that for a little bit. What's that sure. experience been like for you? What are the kind of things that you create for the students? It's been an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is my sixth year, I believe, going into this, sixth school year. Um, and it's, it's given me a chance to really interact with the kids directly, one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on with the children, uh, and not only the children, but the parents. Mm -hmm. Getting a chance to really talk to the parents and really explain to them how important healthy food is mm -hmm. at that age for their children, you know, in the primary school age. We all know that's when your, your body's really growing, your brain is really growing, so you need the healthy foods the vitamins, the minerals, to really continue the growth yeah. um, for the child at that the, that, spe that special age uh, of their life. So it's been it's been an amazing experience, uh, and I hope to you know keep it keep going, and um, you know keep making these healthy foods uh, for the kids. Boy, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know how did you become interested in cooking and becoming an an official chef? Oh boy, uh, well it's. It's the only thing I've been, I've been doing my whole life. I don't know how to do anything else. I've told that to everyone. I don't know how to do anything else but cook, okay? <laughs> so I really started when I was a child, uh, okay. really watching my mother uh, and uh, my aunt uh, cook. Okay. Um, and my, my father was the general manager of the Mount Nevis Hotel at the time. So I spent a lot of time in the kitchens, Kitchen. you know, just okay. observing the ladies doing their thing. And every now and then they'll give me a little bit of food to taste. And, you know, I was, I was in heaven. So I, I, <laughs> I, got, I got hooked on that. I mean, I can watch people cook food and get free lunch every day. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was it. That was, that's it. I said, this is, this is it. This is what I want to do. Uh -huh. And um, so I, you know, I, I stuck to it. And I, I uh, went to culinary school in the States. I attended the Culinary Institute of America. Mm -hmm in uh, upstate New York, okay. and um, then just spent the rest few years just building up my experience, working many different jobs from large hotels to small mom and pop restaurants, okay. um, and just getting as much experience as possible, and uh, I got the opportunity to move back home uh, to Nevis at the, um, in 2010, so I became the um, executive chef at the Wally Beach Hotel over on Nevis, right. so I did that for a few years, um, and then uh, moved into the the job now as the the chef for the school meals program, okay. and I've been doing this ever since. So it's been oh, it's it. been an awesome ride, and 
Yeah, keep, keep going. Don't stop, you know? <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Can we have Chef Michael back more often? There's balance here. Because no problem. Apparently, you can't do anything else but cook, and I can That's do everything right. but cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm, hey, I, I'm a, just a phone call and a boat right away, right. so I'll be here anytime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we will be sure to have our show for tequila. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Chef himself is now going to teach us how to make salad dressing. So mm -hmm. we're excited. So we'll, yes. where do we begin? Okay, so we have all our ingredients here. We have our nice little salad bowls and our uh, salad toppings here. So what I'm going to go for first is our olive oil, okay, and our white wine vinegar, and we have some Dijon mustard here, okay? Now these will be the three main ingredients for this dressing. Okay. Um, this one here, let's see, white wine vinegar, yes. So, we're gonna start with the white wine vinegar, and I'm using these cups, so hopefully the camera guys can pick it up. Um, so we're gonna start off with our vinegar, is there any type of measurement? Yep, so I'm gonna go with about a quarter cup okay. of the white wine vinegar and about two tablespoons of the Dijon. Mm -hmm. And you see this comes with being a chef. You can, you can really um, estimate. estimate pretty well yeah. <laughs> over the years. <laughs> We're gonna go with a little Parmesan cheese. Again, about a tablespoon, tablespoon mm -hmm. and a half. And What's next? Um, just a pinch of salt. This is, we're trying to be healthy now. Okay, just a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. And lastly, just a few turns of black pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like that. Now, the trick is, and I'm using a emulsion blender. Okay. If you don't have one of these these tools, that's fine. You can use one of the, uh, like a regular cake mixer at home. Okay. Okay. Just turn it up real high because we all know that oil and water doesn't mix, yeah. but we're gonna try to make an emulsion, okay? So that's the whole trick of the game. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give this a few pulses like that just to mix everything up, mm. okay? And, oh, one last thing. Just about an eighth of a teaspoon of that's sugar, sugar, okay? Just like that. All right, now, you're gonna be my sous chef for today. Okay. So what I'll have you do is, this top button is slow and fast, so we're gonna start off with slow. So just hold that top button down. And as you're gonna do that, I'm gonna slowly be pouring in our olive oil to then make the emulsion for the dressing. Just keep going, hold it down steady. There you go, keep going. And the olive oil we're gonna use about, uh, about a quarter cup as well. Okay. And that's it, you can stop. That's it. So that took what, 45 seconds, yeah, if that? Yeah. yeah. So what we'll do is, it's we're gonna just take this off. Okay. Okay. I'll put this right here on the napkin. Mm, what I'll get fancy. is one of these uh, tasting spoons here. Let me give it a shot first. Okay, what we'll do is, we need just a pinch more sugar, because it's a little acidic. Okay. So we'll put a little bit more sugar in there. And you can use brown sugar as well. I just like using white sugar for this instance because it dissolves fairly quickly. Okay. Okay. Give this a few more pulses just like that. And that's it, guys. Wow. That looks so good. I Simple know, as that. See how easy that was? Yeah. Okay. Now you can keep this at home, put it in a jar. This can store for weeks because oh, there's not really anything there that'll okay. to, to spoil it. There's no cream, there's no milk, there's no you know okay. uh, egg yolks or anything like that. So this will last in your fridge for weeks. And then you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy dressing so often. Mm. Okay? So simple, simple. That was number one. Just give this a rinse off. That was the first one. Yeah. Okay, next one we're gonna do, we'll put that there. Next one we're gonna do is, so we've used this, this is our white wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. Next one we're gonna use is our, we're gonna do a raspberry, uh, raspberry vinaigrette. Whoa. Okay, so we have here our, and this is all things, these are all ingredients you can see that you can get on, at the local stores, okay? So this is a strawberry infused vinegar, okay? So again, to add more flavor mm -hmm. to our to our dressing. And just like the last one, we're gonna start with the vinegar first. And you 
can see how dark this one is compared to the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how much? Is it, this is two tablespoons. One. Spoon? No, no. We're gonna do okay. the the same uh, quarter cup. Quarter cup. Yep. Okay. Uh, and basically the same thing. So we're gonna do a pinch of salt again. Same thing like the last one. Just a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to add a little bit of flavor. We'll do one or two turns for black pepper. That's it. Mm. We have our star of the show, raspberries right here, of course, for our raspberry vinaigrette. You guys at home, your mouths must be watering. <laughs> we'll taste it for you. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and our olive oil. And, uh, oh, last thing. Some wonderful honey. Mm, I got I, I gotta, I gotta, locally made too. I gotta give a shout out to Mr. Uh, Mr. Nisbet, Evan Nisbet, for some beautiful, beautiful local Nevis honey here. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And we're just gonna do about a teaspoon, not much. Okay. Okay. Is we, and the teaspoon because we don't want it too sweet. Right. Don't want, want it too tart. sweet. Okay. Don't want it too sweet. You. Yeah. Look at the sous chef go. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent job, sous chef. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we clip this bad boy back in, just like that. We're going to give this uh, one or two pulses just to bring everything down. On low, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there we go. Wow. Jamie, you getting a little jealous? Oh no, I'm studying everything. <laughs> Trust me, I'm internalizing. That was gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Now he makes me want to go make salad dressing. Uh, <laughs> this is where I know that food is visual. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Look at that. All right, there we go. I'm going to give it a taste. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, my word. That's it. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. Okay. okay. Um, so again, and look at this next one here. See the difference? Okay, and again, the main difference with this one was the, the darker balsamic. Mm -hmm. So that definitely helped on the um, on the color for that one. Okay, and for our last one, let me just get this a rinse off. And again, same thing. This These would last a long time in your kitchens, in your fridges, thanks. Okay. Sous chef duties. <laughs> okay, <laughs> last one is our... I'm gonna have use a little bit of orange. The star of the show would be the olive oil. So uh, yeah, the star of the show would be. I'm gonna use a little bit more. Uh, this right here. This is gonna be a, a balsamic vinegar. Okay. Okay, balsamic vinaigrette. And there's many different types of balsamic out there on the market. Quite a so it's, you know, it's it's all up to it's all up to you. There's okay. strong ones. There's light ones. There's heavy dark ones. This one in particular is an aged. Oh. Balsamic vinegar, so. So th that one will be heavy. This one will be heavy. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. So we're starting off same thing. Quarter cup balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna take an orange and just give it a few, a few runs on the um, on the old zester here. So we get a little bit of orange zest in there. Not much. Okay. We're talking about maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. okay? But just enough to give it the flavor. All right, and I'm gonna also do a little bit of lime. A little bit of lime zest. Again, not a lot because they're so pungent. Okay, and we're gonna, we have our oil, we have our balsamic, uh, same sugar. thing, a little bit of sugar to balance out the acidity. I'm gonna do two on this one because the aged balsamic is, is a little on the heavy side. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it, okay. Um, not gonna put any salt in Let's this one. I put a little bit of pepper. Okay. Just like that. I'm hungry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> After watching this, I'm so hungry. Jamie, would you like to turn? You wanna try this one? I think you can do it. You can do it. Think you can do it. You can do it. The top one right here? The yes, top. the top. Okay. Okay. So we do it slowly? Yep. There we go. Jamie. You're natural at this, Jamie. Imagine that. Wow. Yeah. We're cold. We're cold, guys. We're cold. <laughs> Good job. Thank Good you. job. Okay, so that's it, guys. As you can see, three different dressings, and that took 
not even five minutes yeah okay so definitely like i said if you don't have one of these um emulsion blenders at home that's fine you can use your your cake stand mixer just okay. put it up on high uh -huh. and remember the trick is to keep the the oil at a slow and steady pace into the bowl or into the glass okay yeah. and so what we have here what i'm going to do is just put the put a few um toppings on our on our salad right here we got we got some cucumbers we got some lovely uh red pepper cues right here mm, that salad is looking good yeah. oh yeah, yeah a little bit yeah. of, a little bit of carrots a little bit of purple cabbage on top should i say bam bam <laughs> <laughs> We're not, we're not going to go there. We're not going <laughs> to All right, give that a try, guys. Ooh, and again, I really want to stress how easy this was to make for everybody. You can definitely try this stuff at home. Um, mm. Please, please try it at home. Mm. And we, as you can see here in, on, on camera, this is exactly what went into the dressing. Nothing else. Okay? Mm. So, uh, there's when you turn around those bottles of dressing in the store, there's... 35 different ingredients in some of those mm -hmm. dressings. Yeah. But here, we know exactly what we're putting wow. into our dressing, and we know exactly what we're putting into our bodies, okay? Mm -hmm. wow. So again, healthy, healthy, and easy. I don't like difficult things, I like easy things. And some of the easier things are the tastiest things, okay? Mm -hmm. So definitely go home and try this out uh, with, with all, of your, all mm -hmm. of your chefs out there watching today. Chef, this is yes. so good. Thank Indeed you so much. It's my pleasure, my pleasure. And I'm really glad that you guys are you you good? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep, don't don't <laughs> keep it keep it. She's good. That's that's good. That's what we want to see. That right there. <laughs>